What is up everybody, it is Amar BHD, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to mod trophies. This is a highly requested video, I get this all the freaking time. And I've been doing this since 2012, so everything that you're going to be learning in this video is from somebody who has experience. And I'm going to show you how to do things the right way. So this is the account that I'm going to mod today. It is called Daggum Bobby because when people see my trophy collection, they're going to be like, A Daggum Bobby! <laughs> uh, but, anyways, let's get on with the video. I only got 14 trophies right now, but I promise you I'm going to have a lot more. So, let's get to it. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sign out. Make sure that you are signed out of PSN. And you're going to scroll over to Save Daddy Utility. And you're going to copy one of your saves to your USB flash drive. So I'm going to be using the Simpsons for this. So I'm just going to press triangle and I'm going to click copy and I'm going to click USB device. So that's all you do. You basically you want to get your param file. So now you're ready for the computer. Alright so bear with me because this might be a long tutorial. It might not. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to try to get straight to the point with this video. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to get that save that you copied on your USB earlier. And you're going to put it on your desktop. So you're going to make a new folder on your desktop. Right click new folder. Name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter as long as you get to it. I name mine Daggum Bobby because that's the account that I'm going to do. So open up your USB. Go to PS3. Save data. And this is the one that I copied earlier. The Simpsons save file. So open that up and then param.sfo is the one that you want. That's gonna that is basically your account information. So just drag that, drop that into your folder that you just created. So now you got the folder on your desktop and uh you're gonna need to download this right here. This is the the trophies, the platinum trophies. You're gonna need to download this. This is five or six gigabytes so if you do have slow wi-fi and all that stuff then don't even worry about it because this really is going to take a while to download unless you have high speed internet then it should be pretty fast but anyways you're going to right click it and click extract files if you don't have that then you need winrar or you need 7-zip either one once you extract it i've already did it so i'm not going to do it but once you extract it it's going to go into a folder like this you're going to click on this and all these folders right here are going to be your trophy folders basically you're going to this is somebody else's account these folders right here and you're going to re-sign them to your account that's basically what you're doing so you're going to need to do that you're going to need brute force which is right here so you're going to open up brute force and yours probably won't look like this because if it's your first time you won't have nothing here but um basically you're going to go to set profile you're going to go to configure profiles set param sfo for profile one you're going to go to your desktop you're going to find the folder that you made like i said i made daggum bobby so click that click that param right there and click open now this part is very crucial if you have if yours starts with the letter, you won't be able to do this. You'll have to make a different PSN account and you'll have to, yours needs to start with the number basically. So you just have to make a new PSN account. If it says blank right here, then that means that your save that you got is not signed up with PSN. So you need to make sure that you, you are signed up to a PSN account. So mine is starts with 45 but I'm gonna give it a little friendly name Daggum Bobby click OK it says the profile Daggum Bobby 45 whatever now will be used for the patches click OK and as you can see up here it says Daggum Bobby and it's got my number 45 6 7 whatever that is my profile number so now that I have my profile in here and my param and everything you're going to need to put some trophies in here now if as you can see I did I did sets that's the way I do mine I do sets 
I do 50 sets in each folder. So I got set one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever, blah, blah, blah. In, in each of these, there's 50 platinums in each of these folders. So like all these right here, let's see, 50, 100, 150, 200. There's 400 platinums in these first eight sets. So you don't have to do it that way. You can do 100 platinums a set you can do 200 platinums a set whatever you want to do but you got to realize the more trophies that you do the longer it's going to take and the more space you're going to need on your flash drive and also the more chance of you getting some corrupted data along the way which then you'll have to go back and fix it so i'll get to that later but um basically I'll show you how to do that real quick. You're going to click new. I'm going to name this set 34 because I've already been doing some sets. So I'm going to open this. Then I'm going to open that trophies folder that I have. And I'll probably just do the rest of these, which I don't know how many there is, but I'm about to find out. So I'll probably do 93, it says right there. So I'm going to put 93 in that bitch. So I just exit off of that. Now i got 93 folders in my set 34. So that's 93 Platinums. So I'm going to open Brute Force. I'm going to copy all these. So I just highlight all of them and drag them into Brute Force. And then let it do its thing. You see it's loading up there. Now. Yours might look a little bit different. If you click icons you can change it. You can actually see the the name and everything. But I like to keep mine like this. It's just more convenient. Usually the name of the game will be right here. But a lot of these games that I'm doing. They uh. Are Japanese games so they're not gonna have like the title and stuff because for some reason brute force doesn't recognize it and also like uh, right here the it says unprotected that means the hash key is unprotected which that doesn't really matter but I don't like that blank one right there so I'm just gonna delete that because I don't want nothing I don't want no, no corrupted data when I'm doing this so Basically, what I'm going to do now is you see all this profile right here. You want to change the number 36 to your number up here, which is 45. Well, that's my number, but your number will be different. You want to make this number, Matt, you want to change, you want to put your profile into this right here. And to do that, it's very simple. You just want to highlight the first one or whatever click control hold control hold shift and click a and it'll highlight all of these and then you're going to click rebuild which is basically means decrypt so you're going to click rebuild full and it'll say do you want to update the param.sfo for the 92 selected saves blah 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 with your profile click yes And it's supposed to be changing over here to my account. But as you can see, it's not even changing. Only the first one changed. And the reason for that is because the hash key was unprotected. And it kind of glitched out the whole system. So what that means, don't worry about that. That just means that I'm going to need to decrypt these twice. Because it's decrypting the first time. It's fixing the hash key. Now the second time it's going to fix the profile and it's going to resign it to my profile. As you can see down here, it says 21 decrypted, 22 decrypted, 23 decrypted, and it's going to go all the way to 92. So when it gets to 92, I will be back.
All right, so all of these are decrypted. If you look down here, it says 92 decrypted and it says 92 saves because that's how many we have. I'm going to click encrypt and I'm going to encrypt all files. There's two different ways you can do this. You can sit here and click yes on all these or you can just hold down your enter button on your keyboard. If you look down here, it'll say, you know, all the ones that it's encrypting right here. And um, because mine didn't transfer over and sign resign it to my profile because of the unprotected hash keys now i'm going to have to do the same exact thing twice so the next time i do this this profile right here this the 36 2 this right here is somebody else's save so i'm going to turn it to 45 6 whatever i'm going to turn it into my save that's up here so and the reason this happens is because it doesn't have no title. They're Japanese games. They have unprotected hash keys and brute force really doesn't recognize them. So when you have this, you'll have to do this method twice. But if you have a title and everything in yours, then you probably only have to do this once. So I'm going to hold control, shift A, highlight all these. And now I'm going to decrypt it and it's going to turn to my profile. So rebuild, rebuild fuel and then click yes and then boom if you notice over here to the left they're all re-signing to my profile account so now all of these should be mine so whenever this gets finished i will be back because i mean i'm doing 92 saves so it's going to take a little bit so like I said, this tutorial might be long, it might not, but it's looking like it's going to be pretty long. So just bear with me. I'll be back. Alright, so I just de decrypted them twice now. And all of the all of the profiles should match mine up here. So I'm just going to look through them real fast. And every single one of these are now my profile. So I decrypted. Now I'm going to encrypt. So just click encrypt encrypt all files and then like i said you can just keep clicking yes one by one or you can hold enter and then just do it real fast and if you look down here you'll see how many you have left to do so this part is actually pretty fast the decrypting is what takes the longest in brute force to be honest with you and we're done now what you want to do and this is a lot of tutorials I've seen on YouTube. They don't tell you this. But this is a must. Otherwise you will get the error code. It's like 822D11 or something to that extent. So what you want to do now is you want to highlight one of them. Control Shift A. And you want to highlight all of these. And then you want to click Update. PFD you're going to update the profile data click update PFD full and then you're going to hold enter again because it's going to update every single one of these one by one and that's basically it for the brute force you're basically you decrypt it which is basically rebuilding it with your profile and then you encrypt it and you update it so you decrypt encrypt and update and that is basically how you do this I mean it's a very tedious process because if you don't do all of these steps correctly like if you try to take shortcuts you're gonna run into an error along the way so make sure that you do this the correct way so rebuild which is decrypting decrypt encrypt and then update PFD when you do those strength those three things you're pretty much done so you can just exit off of brute force you can open up your usb and uh you can just make a new folder on here just name it whatever trophies is what i named mine click on it you're gonna go to this is your set that we just did set 34 90 two saves and then you just highlight all of them and then copy them to your USB flash drive which you don't have to do 92 saves you can do however many you want but um 
This is just how many that I had left because I've been modding this account for the past like two hours. So I'm going to let this do its thing and then I'm going to get back at you. Alright, so once you got all your trophies on your USB flash drive, you can either just take your flash drive directly to your PS3 or you can do what I always do and I use this program it is called PS3 trophy is good open that up run it and the reason I use this is that way I know which one is corrupted if there is any it tells me if there's any PS3 trophy folder corrupted so this is on my USB as you see up here removal to disk trophies whatever and I'm just gonna drag them one by one and it should turn green up here um, if it doesn't and it says something like invalid then that means that the, it is corrupted and you will get the error 822 C25 or C50 maybe both of them you will get that error and that basically means that you have corrupted data and this program right here ps3 trophy is good it basically helps you find out which one is corrupted so and also some of them will be like faded gray and the ps3 trophy is good and all the timestamps and stuff will say zero and I'll show you that later at the end of this video. I'll give you a demonstration of some corrupted files. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Unfortunately, you got to do these one by one and there's 92 of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I'll get back back to you. All right, guys, I just ran into an error real quick. I just wanted to show you this. This one right here, I went to drag it and drop it into trophy. PS3 trophy is good, and it said not a, not a valid whatever. So that tells me that this data is corrupted, so I'm going to delete it. So just right click and click delete, and boom. Now on to the next one. So that was just a quick example of errors that you can come along the way so just make sure that you double check everything because you don't want any errors and there's so many errors that you can get so i'll get back to you when i finish doing this all right guys i just checked all of these right here and now there's 91 saves in here i found one corrupted which is absolutely not bad at all because one corrupted is a lot better than you know 10 or 11 whatever corrupted so now you're just ready to go to your ps3 but um before i get to that part i want to go ahead and tell y'all <coughs> that um brute force the thing i was talking about earlier I'm going to show you on this set, set number one, I'm going to show you, if I take all these and I drag all these and drop them in brute force, you're going to see the title, the name of the game and all that. Yours probably will look like this because these are all well-known mainstream games, but the games that I just did in the other set were all like Japanese and a bunch of foreign games and stuff, but yours will probably have the title and everything like that. And then basically, all you do is you rebuild, rebuild full, and then you encrypt, encrypt full, and then all of them. And then you update the PFD, which is profile data. And you want to make sure that all of all these right here are, they match your profile that you have up here. And then you're pretty much good to go. That's just a quick summary on what we did and... I'm going to go on the PS3 now and I will show you how to do it from there in Multiman. So I will see you there. So once you're back on your PS3 with your USB flash drive plugged in, 
you basically want to go ahead and enable hen if you haven't already but if you do have it enabled then you want to go ahead and launch multi-man but before you do that make sure that you're not signed in because you never want to be signed in whenever you're doing anything with homebrew apps so just go ahead and launch up multi-man so once you're in multi-man go ahead and scroll over to the left go to file manager and you're going to go to ps3 root you're going to go to dev underscore usb and you're going to find your trophies that you put on your usb i put mine in a folder called trophies so i'm just going to highlight all of these and to do that you press x and the down arrow and you can do them one by one like this or you can just hold x and then hold down like this it's actually a lot faster or you can do it one by one it doesn't really matter and once you got all these highlighted you're going to click circle click copy and then you're going to press your left d-pad once and then press it again and then you're back at this menu when you get to this menu you're going to press dev underscore hdd zero you're going to go to home it'll be right under games and right here is where you're going to have your user accounts see I've got three user accounts on this PlayStation 3 so if you don't know what I'm talking about if you go over to the left see I got one two three three different user accounts mine that I'm gonna be doing is in the middle so I'm gonna find the one in the middle which is number three but if you don't know you can always click on it and go to local username and it'll be right there in the top right it'll have your username account so once you're in this part you're going to go to trophy and then right here is where you're going to paste all your modded trophies so i'm going to go ahead and delete this because i don't want no errors or nothing so i got all this blank right here so i'm just going to click circle and I'm gonna click paste and I'm going to paste all 91 of those saves that we did earlier so once you do this once this finishes you're going to have to put it into recovery mode or safe mode whatever you want to call it and you're going to click rebuild database so We'll get to that in a minute. I'll be back whenever this finishes copying all of these. Alright, so we got all the trophies folders into onto the PlayStation 3 in the right location. Everything looks good, so I'm just going to go ahead and exit off of this. And I'm going to go ahead and put turn off the system and I'm going to put it into recovery mode. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave that... I will leave the instructions right after this so I will see you there so once you get to this part right here it'll say connect the controller using a USB cable so just connect your controller go down to rebuild database and it'll say are you sure you want to rebuild the database click yes if you're using an HDMI cable it'll pop up it'll say an HDMI device was detected do you want to output video and audio using HDMI all you got to do is simply click yes and when you get to this part right here it'll say the database on the system will on the system storage will be rebuilt click OK and you just want to let it do its thing now this part right here can take a very long time it really just depends on how much stuff you have on your ps3 if you are trying to do like you know 20 30 thousand trophies then i would suggest that every time you do a set of trophies to go ahead and erase all of the trophy folders that you already synced Go ahead and erase them and then put your new ones on because if you don't it's going to take a long time rebuilding the database for all 
of those trophy folders. So keep that in mind. The more trophy folders you have, the longer it's going to take. So what I do, this is just a pro tip. I delete the ones that I've already synced and then I just add new ones and it works so much faster and it, I mean it's a thousand times faster and that's just a professional tip I've been doing this since 2012 so after this finishes I will catch you there so after you rebuild your database your PS3 will restart and if you go before you sign in if you go to your trophy collection you will see all of the modded trophies that you put on it I put 91 so and not all of them are platinums like some of them are just 100% like this one right here because the game doesn't have a platinum trophy so just remember that and sometimes they, it might say 0% on here don't worry about that because when you sync it it'll fix it and um all of them look good you know I checked it earlier there was no corrupted folders or nothing so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sign in and I'm gonna sync them with the server so that way I can have all of these trophies on my account so I'm gonna go down to trophy collection press triangle click sync with server and then I should get the error the error that I'm looking for is 822d55 and there it is 822d55 so I'm just gonna do the exact same thing over and over until I sync all of these trophies so that's basically how you mod trophies and um when I get done I'll show you the end result I think I'm going to put like, I don't know, 50,000, 50, maybe 60,000 trophies on this account. This is basically just a video showing you how to do it if you guys are interested in doing it. It's very easy, but it's also very tedious. If you make one mistake, you can have an error, and there is a lot of errors, so... I'm going to go ahead and finish this up.